hello friends welcome to my channel innovation IC so in this video I will show you how to make this PWM controller based on uh, KA3525 IC and uh, this circuit features uh, uh, feedback and uh, frequency control and uh, low battery protection and uh, uh, thermal protection so here the op amp is used to detect uh, low battery protection and uh, high temperature using this uh, 10k thermistor and uh, this potentiometer is used to control the output of the PWM that is uh, you can control the duty cycle and uh, for controlling the duty cycle uh, it features uh, optocoupler so you can uh, use with uh, inverter circuit or uh, DC to DC converters it offers uh, feedback optically so no physical wire or uh, connection is uh, used and uh, this potentiometer used to set the frequency and uh, the other two potentiometers is for uh, low battery and uh, this is for the thermal potential so here uh, I connected the power cable and uh, on my power supply in the multimeter you can see the voltage running on uh, so increase the power supply voltage to 12 volts so it's uh, 12 volt now press reset switch to work normally here uh, red LED is for uh, indicating it's uh, shut down and uh, this green is for power now I decreasing the voltage I set this uh, to almost uh, 10 point uh, some uh, 10 point 5 volts so when the voltage uh, below 10 volts then uh, PWM circuit uh, dec uh, off another thing you can see this thermal uh, thermal protection now this solder is uh, hot and if I heat the sensor then it is off so this circuit works like this so here you can see this uh, oscilloscope which is made on uh, Raspberry Pi now I'll show you how this uh, duty cycle and frequency is uh, working on now the, just the frequency so the frequency decreasing from uh, 20 kilohertz to below so like this you can control the frequency by this uh, potentiometer given also the jumper is uh, given so that you can adjust uh, more frequency like uh, uh, 50 hertz so now this is the 61 hertz and uh, fine to 50 hertz or uh, 60 hertz systems so this is the 60 hertz you can see and uh, also decreased to 50 hertz so this circuit can be used for both uh, low frequency inverter and uh, high frequency inverters now let's see how this duty cycle control uh, controlling uh, it means uh, the full duty cycle it can give 58 percent so this is the 3.7 volt battery and uh, in the input section feedback uh, section I connect like this and now the feedback is activated and uh, by using this potentiometer we can adjust the uh, duty cycle now increasing uh, decreasing the duty cycle here you can see it's uh, 36 percent and uh, more I decreasing so it's a uh, very low you can see also on the waveform it's a uh, duty cycle is decreases and then it's G if I heat the sensor then the PWM got zero and automatically turns on when the uh, heat is normal also for uh, low battery protection 
you can definitely see here the PWM is uh, on but when the voltage is decreasing to the low, uh, low voltage threshold then the also PWM is uh, zero so for this if I increase the voltage until if I press the reset switch given on the circuit then the PWM al uh, always on so all of the details of uh, this circuit is given in my description if you are interested in this circuit you can watch and uh, make your own and uh, in the next upcoming video I will make a inverter based on this controller circuit so if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel Nimesh Anasi. Thanks for watching.